Hey everyone, so this is my single tier two burner three vessel uh, brewing system. I built this based on just some designs that I had seen online and uh, this is what I use um, to make a standard five gallon batch but I'm actually brewing a ten gallon today. Um, you'll see first um, that is all wood. It was actually all reclaimed wood that I sanded down and um, put a nice stain on and then added some polyurethane for water protection. Um, and it's uh, 4x4 main supports and 2x4 middle supports there. This entire thing measures um, I think 67 inches by 25 inches. Um, so it fits in a nice space and it provides everything you need. Um, in my hot liquor tank uh, area, I'm using a BG-10, uh, if you can see right there. It uh, provides great, uh, great heat, especially when I'm getting my water up to boil. Um, I grabbed some one inch uh, by one inch st steel uh, frame at Home Depot and cut it down create the surface for actually both my boil areas uh, and then just sort of bolted everything in. Um, to, for fire protection purposes and moisture I actually used uh, cement board uh, that I cut down per spec and I mounted everything with uh, some high strength um, supports that you see here and that maintains the weight really really well. My hot liquor tank is a converted uh, keg um, with a stainless ball lock and then a quick, di quick disconnect that I use throughout my entire system. It just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, I pipe the entire thing with half inch um, gas pipe and um, routed it that way. I'm routing it all through to a central point here where it connects to my propane tank down there. Now as you can see I use a two pump system. I have the, the Mark II and then a chugger pump and to be honest um, I would say the Mark II is just as efficient as the chugger and quieter. Um, to activate them um, I picked this up at Home Depot. It's uh, for two different uh, wireless uh, switches that are plugged into a power strip in the back and that way I can turn my pumps off and on um, no problem and it works fantastically especially since the Mark II and the Chugger do not come with inline or on unit um, on off switches. Now the Mark II just so you know should you decide to buy one uh, it has a pretty cruddy resin head I broke it basically on my first trial run and so I had to buy the stainless head which is another 30 bucks. Um, it's worth it. Just just spend the money. Now from an efficiency standpoint you'll see these uh, cup hooks here. I have three of those throughout the unit that I hang the lids on. Um, just makes life a little bit simpler. My mash tun is a, another converted keg. Uh, have the uh, thermometer there just so I can know temperature, I have the inlet and outlets that I run my pump into and through. And then I'm actually using a bazooka screen at the bottom of it. Uh, there's been some discussion about whether or not bazooka screens are uh, decent or you know well worth it, but I found for my money it seems to work out really well. And uh, I haven't had any stuck sparges yet. And finally, I have a 15 gallon uh, boil kettle um, this is where I you know, do my main brewing. Uh, again, quick disconnects there, uh, stainless ball lock valves, um, and then I just picked up a sight glass um, that you know, helps with uh, knowing what your volume is going to be. Now here I'm uh, using an old turkey fryer burner. This is the BG-14, I believe, um, the Bayou version, and um, works well have all that piped into my main gas line as well with on-off uh, bollocks here. 
Uh, both are brass and it works out uh, just fantastically. Um, the whole idea behind this beer setup is that you, once you get things going, you don't have to move very much. You, uh, you know, basically the only time you have to use a water hose is, you know, to get your initial uh, water in, then your sparge water, um, and then eventually for uh, your cooling, which I use uh, two immersion chillers, daisy chain together, and I recirculate with my chugger pump. And I will show that on a different date. So, um, yeah, there is my setup. And uh, I don't know if you can see it very well here, but it is nicknamed Bruce. Um, something that my wife came up with, which I just think is absolutely fantastic. So, there it is. Uh, enjoy. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions.